Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Mad Libs templates from a Google Sheet. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this and why you might want to do it. So the reason you might want to do it is if you have a student or a child at home like I do who is in love with making Mad Libs. My seven-year-old came home the other day and wanted to do more of them after doing some in class. So I went to flippity.net and I went down to the Flippity Mad Libs template and we can check out a demo right here. And we'll see that it's a typical Mad Libs type of scenario. You can see here, you fill in the things like the name and the places and everything else and then you'll see the story and I'll fill this out right now and then you can see the story. So I filled it out and now let's show the story and we can see there's the story that can be filled out. Now let's say we want to make our own. Well let's click on the make your own Mad Libs tab and then we'll get a copy of that Google Sheet. You can see right there. If we get a copy of that Google Sheet template and make a copy. Now you do have to be signed into a Google account. It can be a personal Google account or a school issued Google account. And then we will see here the titles of the story. We'll see the trip, the test, cooking, the accident, fairy tale, shopping. Now you can change these if you like. And you can change out anything you like here in the brackets. Those brackets are going to appear as the blanks in the template that appears on the screen. So let's say instead of the trip, I'm going to have my story be called something else. So I'm going to call my story camping. And I'm going to fill in the text here and say name and name. I'll leave that as is. Decided to go camping in, and then I'll leave that as place, and they gathered around their blank and blank and put them in their blank, right? So let's say they gathered their plural noun and plural noun and put them in their adjective type of vehicle. Well, instead of type of vehicle, I'm just going to put in here backpack. And so now the sentence will read, they gathered their plural noun and plural noun and put them in their adjective backpacks. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go to get the link here. And before I do that, I click file, share, publish to the web. And now we'll click on this link to see our Mad Libs that we can complete online, including the camping story. And we'll see name and name, place, plural noun, plural noun, adjective, and they can fill that all in. And then at the end, show the story. Now, if I want my students to fill this out online, I simply click that share button down there at the bottom, and we will have a link to give to students to complete their Mad Libs story online. You'll also see here there's an option to share to Google Classroom, an email option, a QR code option. You'll see a giant QR code there and we'll see over here a link to the original spreadsheet if you want to go back in and change out that template again. So again that's the Flippity Mad Libs template. It's a great way to create some online Mad Libs activities for your students to complete. As always, for more things like this, including a lot more flippity tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.